Hello dear friends. Today we are going to see model number 4 B the book. It is a poem by Iftikhar Hussain Rizvi. Who is this Iftikhar Hussain Rizvi? He is one of the outstanding names in Indian English literature. He is an Urdu writer. He is a reviewer also. He is a translator, sports commentator, broadcaster, editor, and a teacher by profession belongs to the generation of modern poets he belongs to the generation of modern poets modern poetry is considered after 1900 so 20th century is related to modern age first half of the century is related to the modern age and that's why this poem belongs to a modern poet category he has written over a dozen of verse collections and anthologies <coughs> anthologies means the ancient stories told by uh, old people oral stories generally the things happened in ancient period were told to us by our ancestors or old people so he wrote some anthologies also he has written a dozen of verse collections one can see the variety of themes in his poetry various themes are there in his poetry his originality vivid and apt portrayal of the situation or the scene brevity in expression concrete imagery the use of imagery is a different kind of a skill but he is the master in using imagery concrete imagery and use of striking and innovative expressions lead to the unique charm to his poetry so his poetry is a charming poetry he has innovative ideas and expressions skill the present poem the book by rizvi is taken from the journal named or entitled literary endeavor volume 1 to 4 1987 to 1988 <clears throat> this journal was published in 1987 for the period of 1987 to 1988 which has four volumes 1 to 4 and from that journal this poem is collected the speaker in the poem describes the condition of the book this poem deals with the condition of the book very old which is a very old book brown with age age 
means the corner of the pages which are completely brown in color which is used by various readers of varied categories and made the book an open mystery by making various marks like scribblings the book is read by various readers with various categories some readers are there who generally turn of the pages fastly some readers are there who use to read minutely and keenly some readers are there who use to uh, do some markings on the pages some underlines are there some scribblings or jottings or dashes or dots the readers have all these habits to tackle the books some of the markings are clear while some others are dim some are markings there which are clear but some markings are dim and dull you cannot understand while seeing this dim markings on the pages of that book the poet expresses doubt if the book as well as the markings are nearing completion the speaker has a doubt in his mind whether these markings make the book complete because this book is not complete in that sense if you read a new book and if you do some markings on it on it or some scribblings or some dashes or some points if you noted on that book new book the new reader will not understand what exactly the markings and scribblings and dots and points are there and what are the meanings of all these lines and dots and scribblings new reader is unable to understand so a reader this reader or the poet has a doubt in his mind whether this all dots and markings make the book complete one though he can't change the book with its markings he wants it to read entirely and to brood over the losses and gains of the book as well as his life here poet wants to compare the book with his own life the old book is there there are many readers of that book there are some many dots and plenty of scribblings and markings on that pages of that book our life is also like that there are plenty people come to our life and uh, observe us some are very important persons personalities we met some are minor people we just immediately forget all of them some are very close to our life some are very near and dear to us so all these people read our life do some dots and markings and scribblings on our life life's book and there is a question of completion of life with that remarks or scribblings and dots made by other people in our life here iftikhar husain rizvi tries to point out 
द को रिलेशन बिटवीन ह्यूमन लाइफ एंड ओल्ड बुक दो ही कांट चेंज द बुक विथ इट्स मार्किंग्स ही वॉन्ट्स इट टू रीड एंटायरली एंड टू ब्रूड ओवर द लॉसिस एंड गेन्स ऑफ द बुक एज वेल एज ऑफ हिज लाइफ but he is afraid that the knowledge that the book and the markings render may not burn the book to ashes that is not to destroy the significance of this book there may be markings there may be scribblings there may be dots and remarks on that in our life also the poet has a fear in his mind whether by this markings and dots and remarks the book will not be spoiled or burnt in the same way with the remarks of other people our life should not be burnt so this is the message uh, iftikar husain rizvi tries to convey to the readers so this is an introduction we will see the poem in detail in my next lecture till then thank you